Hello, everybody, and thank you for tuning in to this episode, which doesn't feature any clowns, surprisingly. Uh, I was not so long ago that I was thanking everybody for 300 subscribers, and now that I've hit 400, um, again, thank you to everybody who has subscribed and stayed loyal to my channel and always comments on my videos. Thank you to everybody who's tuned into my live streams. I try my best to uh, watch everybody's stuff and uh, comment my uh, opinion on your on your matches and on your content and everything. But everybody that comes by and says hello, um, uh, Tom the Gamer, my main man, Manny McCrone, Mystical Hyena, Skills, uh, everybody that is. I've uh, just so many people I could name. No, you guys are all cool, and everybody who has subscribed and will subscribe, it is very, very much appreciated. Wolverine and uh, well, uh, Dark Phoenix and her husband. My Friday the 13th Bastille. Last but not least, Queen Known. So... This match was uh, took place when I was banned from PlayStation Network, surprisingly. And uh, so this is why you see Vampire underscore Thorn. It would be my backup account in case I ever get banned again. But no, I'm I uh, <laughs> I think if I get banned again, that's it. So I mean, not really much happens. Uh, the uh, the Jason I don't think knew what he was doing. That everything got done. I was trying to get the boat going, and I couldn't really find anything. And by the time I did, everybody was gone. So it pretty much turns into a STN survive the night. So the propeller got put in, and I'm pretty much looking for a gas can. The map, too. I, I'm not a fan of uh, Pakanak Large at all anymore. I used to um, really dislike Higgins Haven Large, but now this one's starting to bother me. And this is, yeah, this is going to be a long video, so I'm just going to show the full match. I normally don't do that. I mean, it doesn't get very exciting. I'm pretty much just trying to find a gas can for that boat. This is the only person that dies, I think, is under that bed. was under that bed. I have no idea why I just did that twice. Uh, yeah, watching this back, this was what, maybe February, March, maybe this match was of this year. Oh, look, I found the gas can. So 
So when I switch back over to my other ID, which I um, am not using at the moment, I uh, still have quite a few uh, matches in there that I have not uploaded to uh, my channel yet. It's pretty much rainy day matches like this is. So the funny thing about this is uh, I, I think that Jason, like, yeah, like, had no idea what he was doing. So it's not, like, a really big accomplishment that I make it out. on an STN. So, my friend here tells me that they also have a gas can. Or no, sorry. They could put the gas in better than I can. And she's just, you know, working on boat escapes, so I don't really need the boat escapes. I'm, you know, I didn't really care about badges. Oh, I remember what happens now. Yeah, I think the, the, the dork Chad, yeah, he gets in the boat after doing nothing to it. I'm out of here. Okay, so fine. My friend can go in the boat. She needs the escapes more than I do. So my friends are Jason on my main ID. Like, I don't need to escape and like I, I'll use that match to get dive out windows to get that badge done or heal somebody or hit Jason with a flare gun. Like I don't really you know care about escaping every time. I mean everything has been done here pretty much except the police, so And Tommy, being the good Samaritan that he is, goes for the car. Yeah, the Jason really didn't have any idea what he was doing. So at this point, I didn't even know Tommy was in the car. So I'm thinking, you know, okay, like, who has the uh, phone fuse then? The car escapes, and I'm thinking, you know, okay, somebody must have had that fuse. And sure enough, the fuse does not spawn on the map, so I'm thinking, great, the phone fuse is laying in a drawer somewhere. But where? 
Now it's just me. So yeah, got to find this fuse. You can see I haven't even taken any very many of the tapes, so and lo and behold, there's the fuse. You know that door was open. I don't know why that cabin didn't get checked. We're going to give the old phone fuse a, a try here. And now I've got Jason on me. So let's see. Like, like I said, this isn't a great accomplishment by any means. It would have been a lot more difficult had the uh, Jason not been, I think, a new player. So that's pretty much uh, wait for the police or survive the night. And it's crazy. I've seen quite a few people do this. Uh, I know Mystical Hyena and uh, Skills Too Legit For You. I was had to survive the night on some tunnel bots like crazy like this guy's not even a tunnel bot like I'm the only one left 
I didn't see him for half the match. And I'll give the Jason credit, they didn't quit. Like, I remember my first Jason match. I was a part two. And I I killed two people. And I was like, ah, this is great. I'm doing good. Then all of a sudden, the phone, the police got called. And, uh, like, I had no idea about traps or anything like that. And then uh, I saw a car going, and I thought, like, my gosh, I suck. And then, like, I think my fifth Jason match is a part two. I got... No, no, it wasn't my fifth, but I would run part two for a, a long time. Um, and uh, I got killed a couple times, and then a person sent me a message saying that they don't recommend running part two because, you know, the mask comes off way too easy and the shift isn't that great. Which, I don't even remember who that was, but that's why I switched to, to Roy. Um, and I've been pretty much Roy ever since. I used all the other Jasons only for the Jack of All Jasons trophy. I'm not. Uh, I'm not really good with any other Jason. I mean, if I put them on and played with them more often, I would. I would probably get practice, but I have no idea why I dropped my shotgun for a cooking pot. But okay. So I'm going to begin making my way down to the main road. And then, of course, look where the police spawn. Typical. And yeah, yeah. Now, you should, you know, you get messages from people that are trying to be your friend on PlayStation or saying, "Hey, can we play some matches together?" And now it's just mostly all insults. So. So yeah, I was going to go for the cops. And then I figured two minute warning, I might as well just stick it out. But yeah, we're pretty much coming up on the end of this insanely long video. And like again, thank you to everybody who has subscribed and thank you to everybody who has uh who's who will subscribe in the future if you see this. Uh, thank you for remaining loyal. We're a little over a month away from Texas Chainsaw, so I will be doing that and of course, you know, more Resident Evil stuff and I promise I'm gonna finish my Sims stuff soon. It's just a lot of editing work and But yeah, that is pretty much it. Uh, just stay tuned because I've got tons more doink clown trolls and useless bums and all that. And a lot of uh, a lot of rage quitting Jasons lately, especially the 150s. It's like they take it personal or something. If I could get, if somebody like would kill my Jason, like great. I, I would message you and like be like, holy crap, congratulations, you guys are awesome. Can you like, want to play sometime? Like, But I, I don't understand why people take it so personally. And you know, we have this game for, you know, a little over a year. You know, maybe less. Who knows? Like, yeah, let's just all get along. I'm going to continue to expose clowns and stuff, but whatever. Everybody get along in the name of Friday the 13th and online gaming. So once again, thank you everybody so very much for subscribing. I really, really appreciate it. And uh, I hope you continue to, to enjoy uh, 
the clownery I put out. Have a good one. Bye.